Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how to make fish amino acid that's one of the fertilizer that I'm using on my gardening I know all of you guys are wondering what is a fish amino acid so today just watch I will show you the step-by-step -step, uh, procedure on how to do it your own homemade uh, fertilizer from the gills of our fish so everything in the fish is perfect uh, but at this time instead of throwing the gills and some parts of the fish the head just keep it and make it a fertilizer for your vegetables and for your plants so let's go guys okay guys so these are the things that we need for making fish amino acid first the uh, fish gills and brown sugar and molasses um, if you don't have guys um, molasses in your place you can use brown sugar and if molasses is available then just use the molasses and we have um, plastic jar container where to put our um, fish gills and then the brown sugar but this time guys I don't have enough uh, molasses so I'm going to use brown sugar. Okay guys, so we will put now the the gills inside the plastic jar. Um, and if you guys are new to my channel, please do subscribe, um, like, and also click the notification bell. So on my next video, you will always be notified and then and the good thing guys of this fish amino acid uh, fertilizer uh, it improves the soil health and it also increase the soil fertility and also the, by providing the primary um, nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium is a very um, excellent uh, fertilizer that I'm using with my gardening and also guys with my chickens I'm using this I'm giving them also because this is a good source of uh, protein for them and also it will increase the egg production so okay guys the and the ratio of uh, making fish amino acid guys is 1 is to 1 if you have a kilogram of brown sugar you should have also a kilogram of fish gears or fish meat and same as well with the uh, molasses if you are going to use molasses it should be 1 kilogram of molasses, molasses and a kilogram of Gears so just like that guys and mix it well so like that and then ferment guys for uh, one week seven to ten days guys is okay but one week is okay also so date of production August 6 2020 and date of harvest is August 13 2020 and then cover this guys with um paper towel or any cloth and wait for 7 days and you can extend up to 10 days okay guys so today is August 13, 2020 so it's about time to harvest our fish amino acid so in this process we used brown sugar instead of molasses because at this time guys there is no available molasses in the store so that's why I used brown sugar so we are going to use our strainer and a plastic container 
So, just like that. Okay guys, so next time, if you have a lot of fish and you are going to clean it, make sure to keep all the gills, head, bones, and even the skin. You can use it in fish amino acid. So guys, that's an easy step. And the materials are always available in our kitchen. Just the brown sugar or molasses. And just let us push down to extract the juice. This residue, you can still use it into your compost bin. And this is my compost bin. So this uh, fish amino acid residue. We can mix this together in our compost bin because it will speed up also the process of composting. And then after that, you need to cover that with soil, a little soil, so it will not attract any fruit flies or any insects that will come to your composting bin. And you need to cover with soil, so just like that. And then cover it again to keep the moisture. Okay guys, and the application of our fish amino acid is 2 tablespoons per liter of unchlorinated water. Okay, so let us put 2 tablespoons. One. And you don't have to worry guys if you want to put more because this is organic fertilizer. So there is no overdose in using of organic fertilizer. So if you want to add more, you can still add more. Okay. And we need to shake the water to mix up well the fish amino acid well, into our spray bottle okay. okay so in here I have basil you can spray in your basil into you can spray into the leaves and then you can also use into your favorite plant song of India so if you love plants as well guys, I have another channel and that is Alex Orchids and Plants and in that channel you can learn a lot of things about how to grow properly of orchids and how to propagate some of the plants. Okay, And, and here I have another basin. This basil guys is so delicious and you can also use this as drenching. So same process, 2 tablespoon per liter of water. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today and see you on my next video and shout out to all our subscribers. Thank you so much for continuous support on my channel. God bless. See you on my next video.